We are currently headed to opening night of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We're leaving Animal Kingdom Kadani Village. That video will be up soon, so stay tuned. I am Piglet, Marcus Christopher Robin, Callie's Winnie the Pooh. I'm sure we will get lots of footage of that. But it is August 11th, so it's opening night of the party. We plan on it being probably very crowded. It is also 100 degrees and feels like 115. So what a weird way to begin the Halloween season from Massachusetts. We're used to like adding layers, being cozy, and it is the exact opposite of like, how do we sweat proof, waterproof everything for Halloween, but let's get in the spooky season. Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet too. Are you excited? Yeah. Callie's excited for the treats. I'm excited for a popcorn bucket that we saw. And also with Callie, let's eat all the things that we possibly can. It is currently 4.25. The park opened to the party at four, though, sorry about the beeping, we're at the bus station. You can't really begin any of the party festivities until 7 p.m. So there are quite literally thousands of people descending onto the Magic Kingdom right now. Our bus was packed to the max. I believe DVC can get in a little bit earlier than other park guests. Perhaps that's a myth, but we'll see if we get our first like trick or treat bag or our wristbands or if we have to come back to the front of the park at seven to do that. Also, because it's the opening night of the party, I'm like really hoping just to spy glimpses of like my favorite Disney YouTubers. I really hope the trackers are here. I just want to see them in the wild. And then when I get to watch his video later, I'll be like, I was there for that. So I think I'm the most excited of my family to be here. And also, we are planning on being here through all of the events, though our primary goal is to eat the treats, but we're planning to be here until like midnight. So wish us luck. We'll show you what we eat and what we do. Look, there's little bats inside here. We were here two days ago, Mickey pumpkins are out. So Main Street was decked out when we came a few days ago, like all of the pumpkins on the tops of the buildings were here. By the way, every single pumpkin is differently decorated, but now they have all the garlands out too. And there are Mickey pumpkins and not Cinderella carriages. And I know there's a big debate about which you like better. I love both. I just think these are so stinking cute. So FYI, there are like distribution centers throughout Magic Kingdom. You don't just have to get them upon entry. We've secured the bag and the wristband, and now we are headed to the Haunted Mansion. On the My Disney Experience app, you can still make regular Genie Plus Lightning Lane reservations for attractions that are happening during the party, but not specific to the party overlays. Those queues don't open until most of them seven-ish. So we're doing Haunted Mansion because it doesn't technically change during the party. I think the cast members get a little more into it and they sometimes add in live people throughout like the beginning. They'll have like storytellers, but otherwise the attraction stays the same. It's Callie's favorite. It's been closed for a couple of days. So we're very excited that it's open on this spooky, hot, summer, fall night. All the cast members are in their Halloween. I love, love, love these choices. I love it when they change costumes for the season. Our first treat, technically before the party starts, is this black whoopie pie. We are at Liberty Square Market. This one is available. It's one of the few that's available all day and during park hours. This is the one that little Winnie here is most excited to try. Sorry, you're at such a weirdly low angle. Callie said that the cupcake part tastes like chocolate. The inside part is pretty colors. First tree of the night. Oh my, 
Do you like the frosting or the cupcake better? Cupcake. Me too. This is definitely not for oh, someone good. who's had weight loss surgery because this is just a pile of sugar. But the cupcake part is really good. It's like moist and thick. It's not turning anybody's teeth black. That's a good thing. The frosting is really pretty. It's daddy's. But it's not, it's much too sweet for me. Not for me. You've been looking forward to this for several weeks. Does it live up to your expectations? How does it feel to have a whoopie pie for dinner? Is that okay? Happy Halloween. So, if you're looking for a fun treat to split amongst family members, this might be it. Or if you have a very excited seven-year-old, this might be it. If you are a VSG patient, it's no, this is a no. I'm also gonna do a, a reel about like the photos of what it's supposed to look like versus what it actually looked like. Like this was the sugar spider that came on it. We, we love these, like based on the photos, so stay tuned for that. Didn't know there were sprinkles in the middle. Even prettier, but still doesn't change my thoughts on it. If you are coming to this year's Halloween party, pirates last year had like real pirates in the line, in the queue, but also in the ride. This year, they're not doing that. There is a pirate band that plays. Oh, excuse me. At the meet and greet pavilion. So you do not need to wait until like seven o'clock to get in line to ride pirates. Right now it is 6.39 and there's a 10 minute wait. Which is actually nothing. Which is actually basically just the line. So, hot tip. If you are coming to this year's Halloween party, pirates last year had like real pirates in the line, in the queue, but also in the ride. This year they're not doing that. There is a pirate band that plays. Oh, excuse me. Yes. At the meet and greet pavilion. So you do not need to wait until like seven o'clock to get in line to ride pirates. Right now it is 6.39 and there's a 10 minute wait. Which is actually nothing. Which is actually basically just the line. So hot tip. <laughs> This is where the pirate band will be. I'm not really sure who this is going to be. Sorry, the sun is so bright here. We assume it's gonna be Jack Sparrow, but it's a character greeting spot. Mark and I are dividing and conquering right now. I am here for the Cheshire cat tail, the mummy tart treat, and he headed over to Cosmic Rays. Mark went over to Cosmic Rays to get this spicy chicken sandwich which I will show you because I definitely want to bite it. The lines are starting to get crazy. There's a really cute popcorn bucket that's coming out today. If I can find a photo of it, I will pop it up on the screen here. The line for it, because it is 6.57, was a mile long. So like, if, if throughout the evening there happens to be a time or a space where I can get in that line, and it's not gonna sacrifice trick or treat time or like eating real snacks time, I may take it home, we'll see. So this little cutie from the Cheshire Cafe is a mummy treat. It's a flaky pastry filled with chocolate hazelnut, so basically Nutella filling, and topped with white icing stripes and sugar eyeballs. Callie would like to take the first bite of the mummy treat. You might want to rip off a piece if you want to. Oh, <laughs> is it messy? Yeah. Tastes like a croissant, but oh, chocolate that's a, inside. That's a good review. It tastes like a croissant, but a chocolate croissant. I too am going to rip off a piece. Mm -hmm. So which do you like better, this one or the whoopie pie? Yeah. This. Fascinating. I was just telling Kelly, I thought the sugar was gonna be like hard, and it's not. It's soft, kind of like a frosting. Thank you. I really like that. Mm. It tastes like a cream cheese icing. 
definitely prefer this to the whoopie pie. Again, BSG wise, don't eat this by yourself. But to have one big bite, or one bite, we're also gonna get the chicken sandwich from here. But while Callie enjoys some mac and cheese and this mummy treat at Cosmic Rays, we are getting the terrifying twice spiced chicken sandwich, which is dipped in hot honey and topped with pepper jack cheese, jalapeno poppers, and bacon. So there's a lot of protein in that, but it also sounds like very heavy. We'll see not how it goes me. when it gets here. No, not her, not for her. Hopefully this is just a first night situation, but we did just wait at Cosmic Rays for 30 minutes to get this chicken sandwich that 100% is not worth a 30 minute wait. They gave Mark like an additional chicken sandwich and free waters for waiting for so long. But just keep that in mind. Like this party is only so long, especially if you have a kid with you. So you wanna make sure you're maximizing your time. This is not it. So I'm gonna bite this chicken sandwich and see if this was worth a quarter of my time being here. I mean, it's a really good chicken sandwich. Not incredibly spicy. We watch his YouTube channel. This is paging Mr. Morrow. How cool. Our first celebrity YouTube sighting. That's so cool. It's a good chicken sandwich. Don't wait for 30 minutes for it. There's like a bucket of bones. That's chicken wings and char siu chicken that we also want to try. But this is good. Okay, I'm like a creep on the loose. That guy right there, that's Tim Tracker. I know you want to go say hi. I really do, but okay. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Thank Happy you! Halloween. Peter and Kitra sighting. There he goes. What was he filming for? He's so cinematic. <laughs> treat sign. Monsters Inc. Lap Floor is a treat stop but they're also telling like silly spooky jokes if you want just a cool place to chill out and relax with your kiddos. I'm at the Friars Nook. Mark took Callie to go to another treat stop. I'm here for the buffalo chicken hand pie. I don't know necessarily what's like spooky about it except that maybe it's spicy, but it's on the Halloween only menu, so that is what we're here for. I hope you can hear me. Um, so I also just waited 22 minutes at the Friars Nook. Ooh! Oh, I ate a bubble. We're waiting outside for the Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular Show. But I do want to bite this. FYI, these take at least eight minutes to make. and we're directly under a speaker. And in true Disney fashion, my hand pie is on top of a trash can because that's what we do here. I took a little nibble. It's spicy. This is really good. It's hot. But it's really, really good. Callie's over here helping a family take pictures, obviously. If you don't have to wait 22 minutes, I would recommend this. If you like a little bit of heat. I think that's so nice, Kelly. These are the char siu chicken wings. It's terrifying. It's a shadow from Sleepy Hollow. And honestly, they freak me out a little bit because they look just like actual chicken wings. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna try this for watching the Hocus Pocus show. Sorry about the lighting and the focus here. The sauce on these is really good. It freaks me out to eat things off a bone. If that's okay with you. They're good. A little bland. But good. They didn't 
take nearly as long as the other three did either. conclude our opening night of Mickey's not so scary Halloween party I would say that honestly the food was the least exciting part like I absolutely love the fireworks show the villain spooktacular with the Sanderson sisters I can't get away from the music here and then the parade I think this is one of Disney's like better parades sorry I'm gonna try to like it's so loud no matter where I go and it is so hot but the best thing I think I ate was the buffalo chicken hand pie even though it took so long to get that was my top favorite of this trip I really appreciate that there are more like savory options this year than last year which it seemed like everything was sweet I really wish they brought that little like book that spell book back to Pecos Bills because that is still my all time favorite Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party treat. We got to see some like famous Disney YouTubers, Tim Tracker, Peter and Kitra, um, paging Mr. Morrow, like that was such a highlight for me and I love seeing all the Mickey faces lit up in the park. So if you have any questions about this party, I will leave the details, it runs through November 1st, but I will leave the website linked in the description box below. Let me know what you need to know about this party. It's definitely something I would recommend doing at least once. Like if you like Halloween at all, and you like Disney at all, and you're gonna be here between now and November, try to get tickets. This was a sold out party because it's opening night. They're not all always this busy. So try to find one if you can that isn't opening or closing night. You're already, if you're already doing great, if it's not opening night because it's, wildly crowded and it kind of takes away from the magic because you can't do as many things as you expect to be able to do from like four to midnight thank you so much for watching this is my fastest edit turnaround time so got this out for you i love you happy very early halloween and we will see you next week for more disney content bye friends see you real soon